नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम लोग क्लास सिक्स के जनरल साइंस में लेसन नंबर फिफ्टीन फन विद मैग्नेट्स इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो so, फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसको क्वेश्चन आंसर बाइट कर सकते हैं ये है लेसन नंबर फिफ्टीन फन विद मैग्नेट उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हाउ विल यू डू दिस फर्स्ट determine whether a material is magnetic or non magnetic the answer is the material should be taken near to the magnet if the material sticks to the magnet the material is magnetic if it does not stick then it is non magnetic now next second explain that a magnet has a certain magnetic field the answer is keep a magnet in the center of a paper spread iron filling uniformly on the flat paper the iron filling will get attracted to the magnet only till a particular reason beyond this reason the iron filling will not get attracted the reason where iron filling are attracted is the magnetic field whereas the reason from where the iron filling are not attracted will be the reason with no magnetic field this experiment can give some idea about the extent of magnetic field of a magnet now next third find the north pole of a magnet the answer is suspend a magnet freely in the air with the help of a thread the north pole of the magnet will point to the north direction while the south pole of the magnet will point to the south direction if the directions are not known then we can use mariner's compass take a magnet near the mariner's compass the pole which shows repulsion if taken near the north pole of a mariner compass will be the north pole of this magnet now next question question number 2 which magnet will you use first iron is to be separated from trace the answer is electromagnet now next second you are lost in a forest the answer is mariner's compass now next third a window shutter opens and shut continuously in the wind the answer is permanent magnet now next question question number 3 fill in the blanks with the appropriate words first if a bar magnet is hung by a thread tied at its center its north pole become steady in the direction of the dash pole of the earth the answer is north if a bar magnet is hung by a thread tied at its center its north pole become steady in the direction of the north pole of the earth second if a bar magnet is cut into equal pieces by cutting it at right angles to its axis at two places dash bar magnet are formed and a total of dash poles are formed the answer is 3 and 6 if a bar magnet is cut into equal pieces by cutting it at right angles to its axis at two places three bar magnet are formed and a total of six poles are formed third there is repulsion between the dash poles of a magnet and attraction between its dash poles the answer is like opposite there is repulsion between the like poles of a magnet and attraction between its opposite poles fourth when magnetic material is taken close to the magnet the material acquires dash the answer is induced magnetism when magnetic material is taken close to the magnet the material acquires induced magnetism fifth if a magnet attracts a piece of metal that piece must be made of dash the answer is magnetic material or iron if a magnet attracts a piece of metal that piece must be made of magnetic material or iron sixth a magnet remains steady in a dash direction the answer is north south a magnet remains steady in a north south direction now next question question number 4 write the answers in your words first how is an electromagnet made the answer is when an article of iron is wound by a copper wire and the electric current is sent through the wire the magnetism is produced in this iron article if the electric current is shut off the magnetism is lost this is how temporary magnetism can be produced by creating electromagnetism now next second write the properties of a magnet the answer is first a magnet always settle in the north south direction second at the two poles of a magnet the magnetic force is concentrated third if a magnet is divided into two parts it forms two independent magnets two poles of a magnet cannot be separated from each other fourth between the like poles of a magnet 
there is repulsion whereas between the opposite poles there is attraction fifth when a magnetic material is placed near a powerful magnet it acquires magnetism this is known as induced magnetism sixth magnetic object acquire temporary magnetism if they are in a vicinity of a magnet now next third what are the practical uses of a magnet the answer is first pin holder door bells door of a fridge car doors magnet attached to the fridge for decoration are some of the articles in which magnets are used second the crane uses magnets which are very powerful they are usually electromagnets third the modern medical technique such as mri or magnetic resonance imaging also uses magnetism atm cards credit cards and debit cards also have a magnetic strip attached to them for hard disk of computer audio and video cd etc also use magnetic materials so friends aaj hamara yahan pe lesson number 15 ka exercise complete hua friends aap logo ko ye video kaisa laga aap log comment box pe zarur likh kar ke bataiye is video ko zyada se zyada like kijiye apne friends ke sath share kijiye taki unko bhi question answer mil sake aur is channel ko subscribe kijiye namaskar dosto